G'day, g'day, g'day guys, what is going on? It is your friendly neighbourhood Auslander here, and today we are going to be taking a little midnight stroll through the graveyard and reviving a Let's Play series that I have not done in a long... Ooh, put a pin in that. i got to get this. No, no, no! Ah, toughen up, princess, it's just cold water. Uh, as I was saying, we are reviving a long dead Let's Play series, as you can see with uh, your eye holes, Banjo-Kazooie. So stick around, and we are now going to make our way to Gobi's Desert, I believe, is what we're up to. And I'm going backwards like a dumbass. So let's change that camera angle. Now, unlike last time I was playing this, for some weird reason, I've got a, I've got a more modern computer now, but it can't handle the PS3 controller that my old crappy computer could use. So I'm actually stuck playing it using the keyboard, which fucking sucks. But it is what it is. We'll work with it. We'll get it done, and hopefully I can invest in one that actually does work for the later levels. Where am I going here? Over this way. Now bear with me while I work out where the damn puzzle is to open up Gobi's Desert, because it has been a long, long time since I played this. At least two years since I did the Let's Play level before this one and bloody it had been years again since I'd played it at that point so give me a second to work out what the hell I'm doing oh hello yeah I think it's up here but first we're gonna go get the cauldron that's up the top of this staircase I'm pretty sure there's one up there and for those of you who haven't played banjo before though the cauldrons were a very primitive quick travel system uh, basically, you found two of the same colour, and you could use them to teleport throughout the uh, the witch's lair, which was quite handy, considering whenever you start the game, you always go back to the start of the lair. Let's fart out some eggs. No, I haven't found one of those yet, otherwise it would show me. So... Fuck it. Geronimo! Yeah. Saved by the bird. Alright, now pretty. God damn it! See what I mean about the keyboard? It's a prick to control when you're meant to be using a control stick. But it is what it is. Thank you very much. Let me get in here. That bloody laugh every time you walk through a door. Gobi's. Oh, Gobi's Valley, not Gobi Desert. Oh, it's still the desert. What am I doing? There we go. Big door at one by one. And what was weird is they did include a function that you can, like, if you do it one by one, you can remove pieces? Which is like, like, why would you want to? Are you seriously going to remove them from one puzzle and go put them in another? What's up this way? I think the entrance to Mad Monster Mansion, but I could be wrong. Is that a squiz, eh? Yep, Mad Monster Mansion. All right. And again, I have no idea where the damn puzzle is for that one. Oh, that is, that's gonna be fun to try and get across. That's gonna, there's gonna be some rage when I have to do that. I can just see it now. All right, but I got 18 puzzle pieces left, so I definitely got enough to open up the mansion before I even do the next level, so we're, do we're doing good, we're sitting pretty. I want have I done this jiggy yet? I can't even remember. Let's have a look. Woo! I'll take that, thank you very much. Now I gotta get bloody back up there. All right, now I just need more wellies so I can get across the pit. That is not where I need to go. Wrong way. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Where the fucking... Oh, hello. Fuck, am I out of mumbo tokens? I hope I get enough in Gobi's Valley then, because if I remember rightly, the next spell is like 15 or 25 of the damn things. Ah, right, got me wellies. Or as uh, any of my overseas uh, viewers might call them, gumboots. We call them wellies down under. 
Get out, thank you. Alrighty, anyone, anything behind here? I think Bren Tilda's behind here. Yeah, there's Bren Tilda. As if anyone ever talks to her. Alright, let's do this. Into the valley we go. You'll find one more move. Good to know. And we know exactly what that move is, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? If you were paying attention earlier, it is the running shoes. I'm pretty sure it's on a hill. I remember that much. That's the fun thing about playing games you used to play a lot as a kid. Like, you remember little bits and pieces, and it's fun trying to, like, put them together and work out where you're actually going and what you're actually doing. Trunker wants a rain. Gasp. I'm shriveling up. How's your nuts, Bark Breath? <laughs> Kazooie, will eggs and feathers help? No, cough, need water. You're surrounded by water, dickhead! Just send some roots out! You're a fucking tree! I wonder if it was an artistic touch that when we were in the, in the Treasure Trove Cove where there was water everywhere, all the trees had four feathers, but now that we're in this dry and dusty desert, they only have one. Well, maybe I'm overthinking this. I don't know. Ah, God damn it! Alright, let's go to the top of this Sphinx first. This is gonna be fun using a keyboard. Oh, magic carpet! Oh, is that it? Does it go anywhere else? Come on, what else you got? What else you got for me? Oh, hello! Don't leave me! Do I have to seriously wait for it to come back? Chuck some laps. See, even he looks pissed that he has to wait. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, no! Get out of that! No! Oh. I don't know how the hell I'm not falling off. And we're back where we started. Okay. To the tippy top. Ooh, okay, we got a flying pad. That'll be handy. Anything over here? Ooh, okay, I'm pretty sure... Ah, oh, no, not back! Ah, shit! Fucking keypad, I swear to God! How do people play on ga play games on computers? Right, now, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure I have to go over to these... My dose is all blocked up. Yeah, now I gotta shoot eggs at his nose. Hey, that tickles. Hey, I need a one. Okay. Right, now, another, another egg. Please don't miss. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. There we go. Should have blown that mumbo token flying, really, shouldn't it? Ah, that cleared Jinxie's nose. <laughs> Come on in. Don't mind if I do, a Jinxie. Fucking hand. I don't need a hand job. Alright, now we're inside. Alright, what's the go in here? Is there gonna be another hand? Yep! Oh, you bastard! Ah! Didn't get me that time, did ya? Prick. Alright. Let's grab these notes, and then we'll figure out what the magic carpets do. Okay, I gotta shoot eggs at the jinxes. Jinxes. Sphinxes. <laughs> Damn Jinxie. Fuck with my vocabulary. Alright. This is the sort of stuff that's a prick to line up with a keyboard. Oh, I'm out of eggs! Are you kidding me? I feel like I'm gonna need more than that. No, we're coming back. We're coming back. 
Yeah, that's the sort of shit that's it's next to impossible to line up because you need fine precision and you can't do that when you've literally only got four directional paths. Ah! Ah, god damn it! Just let me up there! Right, now I'm gonna slide down to the other one. Whee! Now I can't remember exactly how, but I know you have to fill that with water. Which makes it safe to get down there and collect all the stuff that's in the hole, including that ginger we can hear calling for help. But for now, we'll just grab these notes around the edge and figure out our next stop. Don't you dare fall in, you fucking honey bear. Another pyramid. Alright. Really? You're gonna make the timer go while you're showing me? Ah! Get in there! Get in the hole! Huh? Alright, we got some memory match. Right. While I'm getting attacked by a mummy. Fuck off! Ah, we got one. Oh, where was that egg? Was, uh, was it this one? No, no, oh, what, really? Oh, fuck off! Ah, I knew I'd se I knew I'd seen the egg. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm getting it this time, boys. Oh, hello. We might. We might. Oh, that worked. Oh, that was over here, wasn't it? Yes. Fuck off. Oh, come on! Come on! And he fucked it. Are you f I could have fucking done that! God damn it! What the fuck? It seriously put me all the way back to the start. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You know what that's for, so you have time to forget before you actually get back there. Well, you know what? I ain't gonna forget, asshole. I ain't gonna forget. I'm coming right back and I'm gonna fuck your shit up. And we're gonna try to hit it with an invis uh, one of those invincibility fucking things too. See if that actually kills it. Ha! Fuck off! Uh, shit. <laughs> nah. God damn it, I have forgotten. Ah, uh, no, I haven't. You're over here. You're an egg, and you are down here. No, you're right here then. No, you're Banjo. There we go. Honeycomb. Honeycomb? Yeah. I don't remember seeing the other music note. Maybe it was... There we go. This is a lot easier without the stupid mummy attacking you every five seconds. Boom! I will take that, thank you very much. Alright, one jiggy down. Ten, uh, nine to go. Ten total. I thought I heard something call. Oh, hello. Well, that's gonna be fun to get to. I swear I heard a ginger. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Huh, well, that was a fluke and a half. Well, that was an easy one. You know what? Fuck the magic carpet. Only we sand eels can survive in here. The only reason I can't survive is because you keep attacking my ankles. I think you just want to believe you're the only ones that can survive. Jealous of us that can walk outside the sand. Ha! Don't think you can use these until you've found out how. Because the art of wearing shoes is a is a very closely guarded secret in the Banjo universe. Fuck you too! You hear that laugh at me? <laughs> you laugh when you pull Kazooie's beak out your ass? That 
sounded dirtier than I meant it. 